So one of the reasons that we do the machine project in this class is that it's really complementary to the homework problems. You're going to continue to do homework problems for the rest of the semester, um, but um, the machine project is really a very different beast. And this can be disconcerting. It can be a little discomforting at first. Um, you're used to every day sitting down with a small problem, reading the description, diving right in, writing some code, getting it to pass the test, getting that good feeling, and it's all kind of uh, over and done with within, you know, maybe 20 minutes, maybe a little longer, maybe an hour, whatever. Um, the machine project is much, much more like the kind of software development people do in the real world. This is like what I do every day. This is like what people that build cool stuff do every day. Um, it's not solving one little problem that you then forget about. It's working on a larger project, starting with an existing code base, uh, having to understand kind of how things fit together, uh, spending more time reading the existing code, reading documentation, Googling around, searching stuff, trying to figure out how something works, reading documentation for some component, um, all these different uh, parts that go into building real things. Um, and so, you know, we, we've seen this uh, in the past that when sometimes when students start the, the project, they're always saying, oh man, you know, it took me so long and it turned out to be really simple or whatever. I really feel like I'm spending, spinning my wheels and I'm not, you know, understanding things because I'm having to spend a lot of time reading the documentation, reviewing the materials. And you know what? That's all fine. That's normal. It's natural. It's new. I know because a lot of times on the homework problems, you don't have to spend very much time reading the description. You spend most of the time writing the code. On the MP, in real life, when you actually program, I mean, some days when I come sit down working on course stuff or when people go to Google or Facebook or Apple or whatever, you know, 10 lines of code, two lines of code, one line of code, no lines of code, might be a real productive day. Um, people spend time when they're building software doing other things. And a lot of times real software development is a lot more time spent on thinking about stuff, figuring how something out how something works, uh, reading documentation, reading the code, trying different things, experimenting so you see how things fit together. Um, and then only at the very end of this process, you might change like one little thing somewhere and then you're done. Uh, you've, you've solved the task. And so it's a little bit of a different mindset. Uh, and I just want to prepare you for that because this is something that, again, we've seen students you know, struggle with or feel a little disoriented by. Um, this is also much more uh, akin to what it's like to actually real, build real cool things in the real world, right? Um, spend a lot less time writing code, a lot more time thinking, a lot more time messing around, a lot more time, you know, uh, trying to understand what's going on, you know, reading stuff. It's just a very different balance of activities. So on this particular checkpoint uh, that we're starting you off with, there's actually not very much to do. Um, I'm trying to think about you know, the total amount of code that you might have to write or change for this MP, uh, this particular part of the MP might be 20 lines, uh, but it's going to take you some time. That's okay. The output here is not measured by the amount of code you write. It's about solving the problems. And it's also about starting to understand some of the components that you're going to have to modify and augment and improve a little bit farther down the line. Um, so anyway, if you're just getting started to this, if you haven't worked on something like this before, uh, welcome. I'm super excited you're here. Um, also, just keep in mind that it, it's going to move at a little bit of a different pace. Sometimes you might sit down and you might not figure out anything and just feel a little bit more confused than when you started, but you're learning. You're assimilating information. Suddenly, some things will start to make sense and be like, aha, I know what to do. Um, that's how real software development is. That's why we do the machine project to give you a taste of that. However, I also want to point out that you're ready for this. Um, you've seen pretty much all of the concepts that we're going to about to start showing you. You haven't seen them done in quite this way. This is much more real, right? This is a little more complicated in certain places, and maybe there's some parts of it you don't fully understand, and it's kind of okay. Uh, but the core concepts that are at work here are things that you've seen before. You've seen classes, you've seen interfaces, you've seen methods. Um, you've seen the various types of modifiers that we're going to be using and uh, some of the patterns of how we design things when we build an app are a little bit new and we'll talk about those and we'll introduce you to them and, and we recognize that there are some new things here, um, but there also should be quite a bit that, that feels familiar that you're ready for. So uh, welcome. My, my main uh, purpose with this is just to reassure you that, you know, there is a different style of development and interaction with this type of project. Um, and so if you don't feel like it's like the homework problems, there's a reason for that. It isn't, and that's really the point. 